Vern Patrick Elementary. We've got a full house this Friday. Lots of people waiting their turns. And lots of people already buying time on the dance mats. Um, to do what we need to do and by selling fitness, um, students are willing to pay for a turn on the dance mats. They love it. And it brings extra revenue to our schools that we wouldn't have otherwise. I heard that you all have been selected for the In the Groove Vending Program. Are you already familiar with the soda and the snacks and so on? Yeah. yeah. Well, this one, it's like a dance mat game, just like in the mall, where kids put their quarters in and they play a game, the one where they're dancing around on those arrows. Well, you're going to have stations like that at your school. And the idea is maybe if kids have a choice to buy time dancing and exercising, they may put less money into the snacks and eat less fat and salty kind of fat snacks during the school day. A lot, I see a lot of the kids um, buying those snacks. And if I were put in that position, I think I'd do the dance mats over than a candy bar. It's a little more social. And yeah. it's something you can do with your friends. Actually, it would last longer than a candy bar. Yeah. How were you selected? Um, well, our class voted on us. My job is to give you the background of how the vending business works, and then what I'll do is work with you for a while until you get your business set up, and we'll learn how your business will make money for the school and how it will add fun and exercise for your, your friends. Okay. And the reason you were selected from two different grades is so that you'll have two different lunch hours. And so mm -hmm. it'll be open for both lunches. One of the reasons we're doing this is because kids these days seem to have more opportunities to have food and snacks mm -hmm. than maybe exercise, especially in school. So if they have maybe 50 cents to spend, we're hoping that maybe they'll spend them in your business. Okay? okay. So um, do you have any questions so far about how this might work? Well, like, how many staff members are am I going to have, and, like, are they going to get a profit out of this? That's a good question. Um, just like the vending machine, you know, it doesn't need a staff. You put the quarters in, and the person, the bookkeeper at your school, takes all the quarters out and puts it in the school account for, to buy extra things for the school, like computers or maybe end-of-the-year trips or pizza parties, whatever. And what you all are doing is you're generating income for the school. So it's not that you all get paid because it's part of the school day. It may be that if you all made an after-school deal, mm -hmm. you might get paid if you managed it at the football games or okay. at a, a tennis match or something. But the w thing that they get is free tokens. Oh, so okay. for every so many hours you work, you get so many free turns on in the group. Oh, so cool. you, you all don't have to pay. Okay. But you're still generating fun for the school yeah. and funds. I think people will actually put their money in the vending machine over buying a candy bar. Well, you know, it's sort of an experiment right now, and that's a really good question. If somebody hasn't had lunch, they might just buy a candy bar and they'd make a choice. Ho hopefully not always, but that would be a choice they make. But I think, uh, and what we've seen with kids, is once somebody gets on the dance mats and they start going and they're fast and someone else wants to challenge them and get a better score mm -hmm. or have a turn, that I think the momentum of it will sort of be like the fun factor. So instead of it being a lesson, oh, you should move instead of having a fat snack, it's, we'll never mention that. It's not for nutrition. It's not for wellness. Well, we'll just have it there for fun and just see if kids begin to make that choice. And you all have your, your business, and you'll have the management position for the In the Groove program. Um, what you'll do is you'll have a staff that will help you run the booth during lunchtime, sometimes during the regular school day. If somebody does really well in a class as a reward, the teacher might have purchased some tokens. So your staff would need to go and turn on the machines and, and let the kids at a certain time have their fun dancing. Wow, that was a lot funner than a candy bar.